what is the use of taking history why are we asking so much questions to them so in this video i will try to explain it with an example like if a patient comes with abdominal pain there can be many reasons for it and normally what will i think is if a patient has abdominal pain probably the patient might have a problem in his gastrointestinal system but in reality the cause for abdominal pain can be many there can be different systems involved it can be due to cardiovascular cause can be due to respiratory cause can be due to a genito urinary cause or it may be due to a blood related cause or a metabolic cause so there might be at least 30 causes for abdominal pain out of which around 10 are common depending on the age group and the other things and around 5 of which are life threatening so with the history if a patient comes with a abdominal pain with the history we first need to localize which system is being involved after that we need to know what is the cause of the symptom in that system and third thing we have to know is if the patient has any complications related to that cause okay so let's say if a patient has abdominal pain i we will have to take a history such that we can localize if the patient has the pain due to a serious cause or respiratory cause after that uh, let's say the patient has pain due to uh, respiratory cause so in that case we have to know what is causing this respiratory uh, what in this respiratory system is causing this pain like either it is due to simple pruritus or it is due to a pulmonary embolism we have to uh, know it by with the help of history and if the patient has any complications or not like in respiratory causes that the patient might go into a respiratory failure which is life threatening so we need to know by history if the patient has any complications or not okay so these are the basic rules that we have to keep in mind while we are taking the history so why are we asking this is so that when we go to the examination part we don't roam around the old systems like If if on the history we have decided that the cause is probably respiratory, we will be going more towards the respiratory examination and be focusing more on that. Similarly, after that, when we are going for the investigations, I, we can do large number investigation. I can do investigation for CVS for res uh, respi cause also. I can do a chest X-ray. I can do it for a cardio cause also. I will do ECG, echo for abdominal cause. I can do an ultrasound or serum lipase, amylase levels. i can do large number of investigations but more specifically if we can get with what is the cause and we can localize it then we will do only the specific investigations so these taking the history will help us to do specific examination as well as we will be able to do specific investigations so this will help us to save the time as well as save money of the patient and most importantly will be help uh, help the patient in saving the life we will save the life of the patient if we identify the cause promptly and treat it wisely